let's get that a little quieter. Let's see. Maybe I'll do this playlist, because this is just a playlist of, of game soundtracks that I have. But some of them are pretty harsh sounding. So I don't know if it'll be a good fit for like the background. But anyway, whatever. This is my stream. I get to do what I want. So this is the At the Ends of Eras video game development stream, a familiar sight for many of you. Well, let's see. What am I doing today? I guess today I'm going to make the payphone that I started on. So if I go to this. So what I'm going to start with is... Let's start with the global system. So we need entities, characters, I guess, NPC. New script. <clears throat> We're gonna have a new NPC who's gonna call the player by payphone, named Persephone. And I won't go into too much detail about the mechanics of this character, except for the fact that uh, you talk to her when she rings you. So let's do like function global. What should it be? On stat changed stat mount. <laughs> So what is it? Stat changed. Okay. Stat amount, so... <laughs> Let's say... We're just gonna have a stat called, like, um... I know what it'll be. If not global dot stat yeah. <clears throat> So what we'll do is get three dot call group payphones ring or something like that. Or like activate. Oh, this is a nice song. This is Soul Waste. Or the soundtrack for Soul Waste. Okay, I'm fiddling with this stuff too much. Let's make this a little bit louder, because I know it's quieter on your end than mine. But okay, so this gets all the payphones, so let's make sure that I understand how the payphones work. Oh, they don't work yet. I forgot. Let's just do print... I know. But this isn't quite right. Because I also need if global.stat phones
All right, so let's go Sublime. Is Persephone active? Where's her dialogue? She's in, I guess, is she in main or side content? Oh yeah, she's inside country. She has her own little thing. So what's gonna be? Is that the entry always? Oh wait, no. Okay, it's here. So I'm gonna do this. So it's going to clear this stat, this Persephone slash calling. And when it does that, so if stat equals and equals zero. going to be set through and we'll have set process false. Because <clears throat> what I'm going to do player We need a sound emitter. Actually, what I want... Uh, I want, like, one ring of a phone. But what I can do, I guess, is a test. Let's get, let's just get a audio player 3D. What sounds do I have? I love this song. I need to look up, let's see, where do I have sounds? Where do I even keep my sounds? I'm just digging through my files in the other uh, monitor, which is uh, why I didn't want to show it in this one, but okay. Video and recordings? No. Alright, what if I can just find a free phone ringing sound?
what is it like freesound.org maybe The problem is, sounds here tend to be really bad. Oh. Alright, let's pause that then. Do I have to log in or like get an account here to use any of these sounds? Pay found out of order. How loud is this? Hang on, let's turn this down just in case. Okay, so it's manipulating it, but it's not what I want. Is that, that would be good in the future. Okay, let's do like phone ringing. Don't I have a free sound account? Hang on, I have to go to my like password safe. So hopefully you can't infer the sound of my password from how I do this. Uh, what would it be under like random? All right, now let's go back and figure out where that sound was. Okay. It's refusing to let me actually see the thing. Okay, yes, I understand. Keep using free sound. Okay, great, thank you. Home. Okay, is it gonna go eventually? Hello? Okay, Jesus. Okay, can I go back to this? Can I just look at... Okay, so this is not the sound that I wanted. Where is it? It like, it like ate... It like somehow altered the to-do to eat the phone thing. Okay, so this one's good enough for now. Let's do Jack for assets. No, nah, let's just put it in audio. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it. All right, let's put the music back on. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna need to not have that on for like, in like two seconds. Oh well. All right, but I need to shorten this clip. So it's going to be something like, uh...
uh, where was it? Audio environment phone. Wait, how do I do this? So I want to play. Then can I reset the audio track here? Why does this not work? Because basically what I want is for it to do a ring, then stop, then play the ring again, and then let it r ring out for a bit. And then this will be a looping animation. <clears throat> and it'll be, I guess, SFX. Um, and the max distance. No, unit size. So let's do like... Forgot one of the important things here was this. And let's just have that ignored for now. And what I'd prefer is if it just doesn't refresh, or doesn't, uh, loop. When we go here. Oh wait, I guess it'd be fine actually, because... Yeah, okay, that should be fine. But basically... Why does the sound effect, why does this not, like it used to show you an audio preview here. Do I have to put this in here as well? Like keyframe this? Oh, what the hell? Oh, okay, I'm dumb. Never mind. Okay. It's because it wasn't playing. Stop it. Help me. Oh god, this is awful. It's not letting me do anything. Hang on. Okay. Let's... Oh, it's because... Stop. Stop playing the fucking thing. Jesus. Calm down. <clears throat> This is what it was meant. See, oh wait, hang on. And now when it stops, it'll just stop the animation and not cut off the sound. So now I can do, um, so it'll do yeah, ring and then, oh. And then we'll cue the reset, I guess. So if, is distance greater like less than 80 but let's do like in range equals distance less than 80 bar uh 
active for ringing. Oh wait, and also, if it's deactivated, we should do, um, that. Equals dot current animation is playing. So if in range and not ringing. Is this still part of the... Oh, this is part of... Oh no, this isn't Soul Waste. This is uh, the Neo Tokyo soundtrack now. So now what I should be able to do... Oh yeah, I have to add this to the auto-load. So it's Entities NPC Persephone. So she is just always here, always watching. So now, let's see what happens if I activate that. So it'll be... So now it should activate. Maybe. Oh wait, no, it's greater than... No, okay, so it is greater than equal to do. Let's see. Let's see if I can get this working. Oh wait, hang on. Do I actually Okay, I do add the step. So that's good because that means that uh, let's do not global step per second slash call. This is the intro, so let's do, um... Okay, and I do have... I do have exactly what I wanted there. So yeah, we're gonna do right here. Oh wait, I know why. It's because it... I, I bet it doesn't process when it's paused. Because the game is... Because I'm cheating, because the game... So the game is paused. Uh, auto load Persephone close so let's do like function enter tree pause mode process oh wait no it's not this it's because this function isn't connected to anything Also, I need to use the bathroom. Uh, sorry about that. But I'll be back soon.
All right, I'm back. Let's see, how's, how's, how's the music been? All right. So let's see if this works now. And then if it does, I'll save and quit. And then, so let's do, and make sure that the phone still rings. All right, good. So that's been emitted. Invalid call non-existent function is in, oh. I can hear that it's very loud. What if I did like, N? Well, I see that it's, uh... <laughs> Alright. So I also need to put this transform somewhere. Oh, wait, no, it's because it didn't work. I didn't get the dialog circle in the right location. So now I can save and quit. And it should still be ringing because it's added the stat. Yeah, there we go. And then... equals zero. Wait, so what I want is here. So she stops calling when you pick up the receiver. a non-existent function duplicate in base nil. What the hell? Where is this? What am I looking at here? Oh. Oh, it's because the dialog circle. Does the dialog circle have its own sequence? How does this work? Which one is the... Which one is this? Oh, it's this thing. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, so the payphone itself does not actually have the dialogue sequence. I guess. No, I'll... do anything with the custom entry right now, I guess. I guess. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Because I don't think... Well... Yeah, I'll just not do that. For now. Also, let's delete these. I can put to-do items in the to-do list. But okay, so dialogue trigger dot main speaker equals no, I don't need to do that. Uh, it'll just be and for the rest of these, I can just uh, the rest of them won't be configurable. It would be like uh, that's the main speaker. Persephone enabled.
Okay, let's see if this works now. And let's also make sure that it's actually in the right location. Yeah. Um, I don't see it deactivating. Should be so Persephone slash calling and amount equals zero. Why is it not working? Why is this not why is this not getting info? So if stat equals Persephone slash calling and amount equals zero. on this one are kind of weak. I don't know when I put this on here. There we go. Armored Corp 5, Verdict Day. Because I'm assuming Judgment Day was taken by uh, Transformers. What the heck? Wait, why? Oh, because it's a plus here. Okay, so for some reason, this did not update. Is the set stat? No, it does that. Oh. Okay, uh, that seems fine. Oh, right. It's because all of these stats are now set. Now I can do it. So why is Persephone not here? Because Persephone should be here. And the phone rang. Is there something wrong with... No, I guess that's fine. Alright, now I need to... hang on. The 
Let's do it right here. Oh, it's because I put IE, didn't I? No, I didn't. I did put IE here, though, which is incorrect. Okay, so that means that is the amount wrong? The amount is zero. And then if I do F11, uh, huh? Well, no, I'm still here. I'm still here. Like, we were still here. How does this not work? Is there just a typo in this here? No. And it was being set. It was being set to the correct number. Oh, okay. It's going through all my favorites. This is Osmodeus Rising from where they cremate the roadkill. I think it's slightly slower than the version that's on the actual soundtrack, because I prefer this version. So, stat. Stat is Persephone slash calling. An amount is zero, and then it should call deactivate right in here on these payphones. Oh, god okay, damn it. Was that the issue? But then, no, it would have shown the bug. And now when I press F11, it doesn't... What the fuck does it mean? Like, it doesn't, it didn't, it didn't do anything. It went through all of the different stats. But it didn't actually, like, get these done. Hang on. Uh, whatever, this is driving me nuts now. Let's see if that typo magically fixes it, even though the typo wasn't being shown here. And even though there's literally no reason that this shouldn't be working. Like, is there anything different? Is there anything at all that's different with this stat versus this one? If I press Control v This is still exactly the same. So stat should equal this. An amount is equal to zero. And then if I do this... If I press F12 to go to the next breakpoint, it doesn't hit the next fucking breakpoint. This if statement doesn't work. How does this if statement not work?
No, I can't do that, because it, it also calls set stat at the start of the game. Okay. For every stat. So that way, like, all of these listeners get their listens. Also, I'm realizing that it, I didn't need to have... Well, whatever, it's fine. I could have had these payphones listen for this signal instead of doing what they do right now. But oh well, that's fine. Let's see if this works, though. So is it this stat? Okay. I don't understand what it means. So Persephone, so it's the stat, it's the string, even though the string is exactly the same as it was. And even though I use, is it equals? Like is equals, what am I listening to? All oh, right, this is a uh, savage. Okay. Object int. Did I make sure? Yeah. Okay. The stat is Persephone slash calling. Is stat equal to Persephone slash calling? No, it's not. Why is it not equal? Why are these two strings that are strings not equal? What is happening? Because I know that some languages don't use, e don't support, like, equal sign for, like, value, like, character comparison, but I'm... They do, but they do. Okay, so I've confirmed. Returns true if both strings contain the same sequence of characters. Did I add some sort of like hidden thing? Is there like a space? Oh god fucking damn it. It's because this it's because there's no quotes around it god damn it this is what i get for having my own fancy little language That's the downside of making a convenient DSL, is that I forgot how it worked. Alright. Okay, let's do... Let's see. 
Alright, so let's see if that actually puts the thing on the map. There it is. Losing across. Man, it's been so long that there's not even the there's not even the train station on this map. Like it should show everything. And it doesn't. Okay. But now. We have the basic phone sound effects, and phone... I'll say... I'll say it's okay for now, but okay. So Persephone control, so like, let's... Okay. Where was the other payphones at? Right, they were at 49. So let's make sure that that one works. Oh wait, no, I need to make it, I need to do a new game. There we go. Nice Joker colors. All right, now what I can do so, we know that it works when the player starts the game, but will it work when the game is currently active? And I do. Oh man, that like blasts my eardrums. Oh, it's because there's three of them. Oh, it's because I didn't set any logic for the enabling, because I didn't want all three of them active at the same time. So let's do... if not... Okay. Alright, and we also need... Uh... There we go. So it'll do deactivated by it automatically. Let's see, I think I've gotten the gist of Savage. Oh, it already ended. It literally ended right as I was going to skip it. What are we doing now? Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. I put a lot of, like, random things in here. Alright. Like, I don't play video games. Wait, no. The name isn't Payphone. Uh, let's do, like... Bar... Is that how the dialogue works? Dialogue viewer, visual name... Okay, yeah. Let's take it from the top. Next time I should save when I get to chunk 49.
That's why I have a save command that I don't use. Which one is this one? Oh yeah, Monster World 4. I like this soundtrack. I mean, hopefully I like all of these soundtracks since they're on the playlist of good soundtracks. But I have a bad habit of just putting things on there. What was I testing? I forgot what I was testing. What is even the bug that I was fixing? Oh yeah, the name was Pathon, not Persephone. Oh yeah, and I don't need these anyway now, because I used to have a little, like, attempt to continue the conversation, but I don't care personally. Like, these are just asides. Like, that's what this bar is for now. It just tells you, like, okay, this is its own little conversation because you did the thing. Yeah, so Jackie's asking dumb questions like, how does Persephone know where Jackie is to ring all of these phones? But we know how she does it, which is she just rings all of the phones simultaneously and then the phones wait for Jackie. All right, let's see. Let's make sure, so what I wanted to test, yeah. So yeah, it's not actually right in front of her because originally I was imagining the phones being over here, but they're, I think they're better over here. I think this is a, the right position for these. Okay. I like that little indicator for the contextual replies. And yeah, now I need to actually start working on the things for this uh, area. Because basically, this is going to be a little town, actually. Because they don't need, they don't have need for the train yard anymore. I think maybe they'll have like two lines, like two or three lines that are still available for trains to come and go. Maybe even just one. And yeah, the rest of the train yard will be reserved for um, decorative, or like cities, and or the town that's going to be here. Because there's also going to be a town on the other side of the tracks, but it'll be more bombed out. Because it was an old Valor settlement that was uh, wiped out in the war. And I'll have to figure out what to do with this thing. Well, I'll have to figure out what to do with basically everything here, but yeah. That now has... that system now works, so let's do, um... If... Has... Child... I know. There we go. So that's because the two phones that were inactive already had it removed. But okay, so now the scenarios that I know of work relatively well. I think these should also be, um, these should be separate. So let's add a, um, system. Yeah, adding. This is almost good. And also, I am I think I'm going to port it to something else. Because it was pretty quick to set this up. But it's just so slow. Like, especially with, with OBS enabled, the latency is so bad. Like, look at that. But da. But da. But da. There's like half a second between when I type something and when it actually shows up on the screen. I 
I just don't understand these, um, dang things. Because, like, it would be faster if I'd used, like, Electron or something. Like, if I, if I brought up, like, let's go to... Like, let's, let's get this thing here, so, you know, instant. So, like, you know, as much trash as, as things like Electron get, browsers are reasonably fast for UI. Though it, it would have garbage startup time. So I'm thinking I'd probably do something either Java effects or I'd go really ham and bring back my old uh, UI library that I was developing and really like. Because I could do crazy things like serialize the entire application state and then when it loads, it detects, you know, it like mem copies the application state into place and then like does the bare minimum or does like the simplest possible version of like gpu copying for vertex buffers and stuff i'd have to figure out how to do that but that's the sort of stuff that i'd want okay but basically payphone animations let's add um uh quests and then um, and I guess the quests will eventually be all spoilered, so I'll just put that in here as well. And also the, uh... The train town could be pretty good. Let's make sure that I don't have any, like, won't ship bugs right now. Oh yeah, I do. Exiting nested contextual reply, causing the game to hang. So this is one that I still haven't reproduced. I could close it because it is marked as unre unreproduced. No, but I didn't do anything to fix it. So I don't know what it is. I just, but yeah, I just can't reproduce this one. Is checksum really something that won't ship? I'll do. Hmm. I'll kick that down to like 2.3 because I'm already on 2.2. But yeah, let's do, like, could ship, because I don't care that much, to be honest. Like, the bug that the person was having was that it wasn't it wasn't that the application was corrupt, it was that I messed it up so that the settings by default had the camera disabled, because the sensitivity was zero. But alright, let's do... So, what am I doing? So everything that I put in 2.1 actually needs to be in 2.3 now. Right, and this one, I don't know if I actually... Yeah, I, just, I still have to rebind switching items, so that could have some knock-on effects. I'll just put that in later. But okay, what are the showstoppers? Lily sometimes doesn't spawn when the player falls off the plane. I think when they're stuck between walls. Okay. Pick that one down the road as well because I already released 2.2 yesterday. Okay, and let's also, let's also... I think I may actually make it ring earlier, so maybe just when the medium is activated, the payphones will be active. I still, because I don't know how much I want to 
Because I'm fine with front-loading the player with stuff to do, I guess. I don't want the player to feel bored. Or like that they have to do things in a particular order if they're playing the game again or something like that. Let's see how this works. Okay, so when the player exits here... So, disconnect died with exit. Enable collision, unlock. Player equals no. Okay, I think it's because the logic that I used for exiting the plane was really messed up, if I remember right. Like, it was like I had the player set to null, but then I had to check it anyway. And, like, you know, it checks if the player is off the plane by checking if the player variable is null, like this. Right, because it does process crash. If flight time greater than one, and Lily does not have a parent and temporary p dot state yeah because i do this temporary p why do i care about any of this stuff what if i just do temp p dot pan hawk so where's the player Okay, well, that, that doesn't change much. But okay, basically, I don't even know if I can reproduce this bug. But let's just global.addstats Wiley slash free light. Then we can teleport to 138. Where is she? There she is. No, that's not where she is. Where is she? There she is. So what I was doing to do this bug the first time was I tried to crash, I tried to land on top of that little, this little ruin here, but I was like really stuck in between. That thing is so janky. Also, I need a better way of, um, I need to rework the UI, or the dialogue control, or camera controls in dialogue. I don't like that my vertical view is constrained. And I, you know, I've mentioned it before, because basically it's because the right analog stick controls scrolling in some windows, including the dialogue. And it just doesn't work well. I need to figure out some other controls. I could use the left stick. Well, then I couldn't use the left stick for selecting options, though, which eventually I want to add support for. It's currently not in. You have to use the arrow buttons, but... That's just because Godot has sort of janky analog stick support for UI by default. Maybe I'll have it so you have to do just one side quest of any sort before Persephone is activated. Or you have to activate the medium, at least.
Hmm. Alright, that's good enough. Uh... Yeah, this janky shit. Well, actually, let's make sure. Process crash. So, like, it should... It should work. I mean, I think this might be wrong. Actually, you know what? I do want to do it. Okay, because also eventually I'm going to add another side quest for Lily, or more side quests, because eventually I'd like it for the player to have quick access to this little uh, glider. Or something like it, like maybe a better version that doesn't like droop so much. Also, there is sort of the annoying fact that once the player gets up there, it would be much more useful for them if they went that way, because that's how they get uh, Riley in the main quest that way. What other show stopping quests? Or, so I'm gonna say this is maybe fixed. Because it was also something that I couldn't reproduce. But I'll just I'll just say it's done. But okay. Exiting nested contextual reply causing the game to hang. I could not, for the life of me, reproduce this. And did I record? Hang on, I might have actually recorded that, because I think I was getting footage for the trailer. So let's see, because that would be in my recordings folder. Let's see. When would it have been? No, so this one is just for the races. I did pretty good at those races, though. What was my record here? This is very important to me. Oh, I could have gotten 38 easy. Okay, that's not what I want. Nope, that's the other one. Is it... What is this one? No, that's zero bytes. That's the one that I'm recording now. Maybe it's this one. No. Was I recording on desktop for some reason? I think there was a point where I was recording on desktop. Also, I'm realizing... I know there were pretty good songs on this soundtrack, but I think a lot of the soundtracks are kind of the same thing I'm hearing. Yeah, 
because I'm hearing a lot of that ba -da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah, some of them are like this soundtrack, or this song though. Uh, never mind. Yeah, I think I mentioned earlier on that I have a bad habit of just collecting as many things as I possibly can in these sorts of playlists instead of, like, curating better. Because I know, basically, there's some really good songs in the Monster Hunter World soundtrack. Ah, this is the one. This is why I put it on here. But yeah, otherwise the soundtrack is kind of a little bit repetitive. I think it's because, uh... Well, for the obvious issue... That it uses its, its motif a little bit too much. Okay, am I doing anything here? What am I doing here? Is this the one where we freeze the game? I think this is. Okay, let's see exactly what I did. Maybe? I don't think this is it. No, because I, I think I had the bars at the point where I did that. No, okay, so that's not it either. Did it... Maybe it... Maybe it's because the game crashed, I don't have the footage. No, that's just gameplay. I don't think I have it anymore. Was there also like a remake of Monster World 4 that looked really good? I'm gonna look that up. I think there's one of these Monster World games. No. Yeah, I guess I guess it would be Monster World. That had like really impressive handmade 2D animation. Oh, Wonder Boy, Asha and Monster. No, that's not it. Alright, you know what? We heard the song that I really like from this soundtrack, so let's let's skip to the next sound. Or song in the playlist. I don't like this one. Yeah, I need to curate my things instead of just collecting things. I'm a hoarder by nature. But okay, whatever. So I don't have footage reproducing this bugs, and I don't, and I have not been able to reproduce it. So I'm just gonna say maybe fixed. Maybe I did something. Maybe it was just a fluke. Maybe it was just a whatever. But okay. Now we have no won't ship bugs. Can ship but would be a shame. Stamina boosters don't show until you first use stamina. Alright, let's make sure that this is fixed. So... Item. Yeah, okay. That's the bug. And that's in UI.
How does it work? Player dot energy. So if I go to player. Okay, so what I need to do is... What is all this stuff? Okay, so if visible and not so, uh, how does this work? Visible and not visible. If not, no, if change size and not is visible in tree, knit signal request show. Actually, let's just do... There we go. So now, these will... Where's the, my little stamina thing? I guess I can just do Q show. Hang on. Yeah. And I can do the same thing with the health bar. Because it has this thing. So now it'll just, uh... So yeah, it'll just check this segment property every frame. And if it's not equal, it'll request show. Let's see if this works. I think it should. And then it'll like pop up the thing. So let's do uh global dot no item stamina booster. There we go. Now it shows up when it needs to show up. And then I can do like item armor. Look at that. We have armor now. And now, look at that. Oh, it's so slow, though. That's... Hang on. It fills up so slowly. 
that it, it doesn't even properly show it. Hang on. These need some better velocity. So let's do like a speed of like three. Or like four. It's, it's like glacial. How do, what's this thing's acceleration? Speed and acceleration. Okay, so let's put this at one then. To match that. And speed. We'll just keep, we'll just make it match. And what's the deceleration? 0 0.01. Because I don't want it to, like, confuse the player into thinking they have more stamina than they do. Okay, now it's as fast as it's supposed to be. So what are we looking at now? Street Fighter 4 Jury. Or Yuri, I guess. Alright, so this showstopper bug is eliminated. So crash when walking around chunk 137. Let's call this unreproduced. Another one that I can't figure out. Are these really the only things? No, I have tons of things that I could ship but would be ashamed about them. Because this is still an incomplete to-do list. But okay, you can teleport by standing on a respawning platform. Map is out of date. Do I? And let's, uh, let's do can ship but would be ashamed, add a subtask, create a system. Four K map. All. Jeez. Oh. Uh. I guess fix the map order. And these will both be could ship. So this will be like tools, could ship, could ship. Oh, wait, so now I can't. Um, so if I complete this, but then I don't complete these, how does that, how does that get worked? Okay. Wait. Where's my subtasks for the map? Where'd they go? Uh, let's do... Let's close it. It's very slow to open as well. Like the startup time and for some reason the exit time is especially bad. It's so like, why are these like here? So like, they somehow all disappeared. So let's search for UI. 
Okay. Some. Hmm. All right. Let's just say, fix the map. Uh, add system to take map green shots all active objects fix map visuals so these are all could ship and this is the one that's not could ship So yeah, let's do, let's add a system to take the map screenshots. So it should be some sort of tool script. Because I have a script here. Where is my, so I have, yeah, right in here. Freeload preview chunks. So what I can do If I, what is it, shift control X, we can see it's running and it's processing and it's taking a long time and it's going to run like, like garbage because what I'm doing is I'm going to have a script. because I loaded every entity into the game simultaneously. So now if we go to the map camera, and then I disable the fog. Or I dramatically reduce the fog or something like that. So I could do like a blue. You know, so now we have what the map, you know, is. And now I just need a good way to get the same resolution and same orientation for this image every time. So like, can I put this in a custom viewport, for example? and then have it always be the same resolution and then take it. Actually, I think I can do that. So let's do like a viewport. And then this will be six. Six. And so can I still use, so this is gonna chug it's chugging like hell. It's not, it is not happy with that. Oh, there it is. And then if we uh, flip this, let's do FXAA and debanding. Do I need shadows? I might just not have shadows here. And how do I flip the... I guess I don't care that much. But okay, this gets me this. And what I'm gonna do is... Um... Let's attach a script. How do I do that? Right up here. So this is gonna to be tools, scripts, map, screen, dots. And so function,
if not engine dot is editor int. Uh, is this how that actually? Ah, uh, well, whatever. It'll be uh, it'll be one twenty eight by one twenty eight because when we do function ready. Q3. Okay, it's just editor hint. And so now I need some way of actually saving this image. So how do I do like Godot engine? Um, save image from viewport. Because can I do something like have a button that I can just press? Because what I could do is rename this. And then we could have like constant uh, take photo through. And it'll be like, I don't know, like Take photo bar MV Spin get node map viewport. It's not MV. I think yields inside if statements still don't work, but what I'll do is like take screenshot with MV. And then mv equals get texture. No, bar texture. So how do we save a texture or a viewport texture into a file? So can I export the save texture as image? And I want to save this to a usable image file. Uh, 
How do I do this? So... Image export. So I think... Oh, well, if there's just a save PNG function, then that's easy. So what is get image? Where is this T-Res coming from? For T-Res and T-Res Array. What is T-Res Array, then? So I can just get the image from it? Can I convert a viewport texture into an image texture? An image, or a texture based on an image. For an image to be displayed, an image texture has to be created from it. Okay, so for a texture, can I convert a texture into a texture image? All right, what if I just do video save screenshot? Like, can I just do... Because this is sort of the obvious thing that I'm doing, and I'm kind of doing it. Okay, get texture.get data. How do I... Oh, hi, Alex. Yeah, so I think... With image data, you can just save a PNG. It seems, maybe. Wait. Oh, wait, no. I'm... Where's get data? Okay, yeah. And now all I need to do is figure out how to save to just uh, the right place. I guess I can just save to, like, the map file. Because I'm not going to do this very often. So where is it? To be UI slash map slash map dot PNG. Okay, reset. Couldn't resolve track. Soft block prevention translation. Which one is this? Oh, okay. That's because that's all there. And that's because every entity in the game is loaded right now. And let's also do... So I'm, I'm not going to do FXAA. I'm going to do 16x MSAA. And we're going to have a really nice looking uh, image. I don't need debanding. And let's try taking a screenshot of that. Let's see if that actually exists. No, it doesn't. Alright, and that's because this... Is this thing gonna work?
Can I do 4x? What is this autogen preview stuff? Active false. No, let's set active to true. Well, actually, I guess set active to false is fine. And let's not have any of this stuff. Because I think that stuff is not supposed to be there. So I have a great idea for this viewport. What if I set the size to zero by default, and then I don't deal with it unless it's in the editor? Wait, where did it, huh? Wait, where did it go? Did I delete it? I think the... What? What did I do? Hang on. Well, let's just... Wait, no, that's fine. So, node name map camp type parent equals map viewport. Map viewport? Well, where's map viewport? It's not in here. What? What is going on? Hang on. The ends of arrows. Also, I have this light on. Not one on. Okay, where is the map? It's not in here. What the hell? I mean, let's just get. All right, let's just get check out areas. What are the other things that I did? Issues with uh, whatever fixed bugs. I fixed bugs. Okay, so now it should have the map cam. There we go, and then I can add. The viewport. Mm hmm. And then I'll have zero by zero, and it'll have the um, tools, scripts, map screenshot. So, oh, it's because. If 
not engine dot. Okay, that was why it was all messed up. Mm hmm. Alright, so let's preview chunks. So, if fake photo. Oh wait, I need this. Okay. So what else was I gonna do? Man, what is this music that I'm listening to? Why do I have so much bad music on this soundtrack? I've forgotten. I've lost my train of thought with this. So what do I need? Oh, right. It needs to be 4096 by 4096. And it will have... Uh, 8x and uh, yeah that that all looks good let's just try this oh wait I forgot to uh well whatever it'll work for now I'll just have to remember to indent this Yep. And I'm gonna do... Oh. Oh, okay. It has to re-import it because it took the photo. But I also have to do... Um... I should set up a special day-night camera. But okay, so this is what... Let's see what that UI looks like in here map that tscn yeah the map is not so is not looking so good it has seen better days i need to flip it i mean i guess what i could do well i have to process it anyway i have to put a filter over it because it looks well yeah And there's so many seams in it. Like, it's weirdly visible. Oh. First things first. Uh, let's get my day-night. And let's add a new map screenshot. So 
So does this actually work at all? Oh, it does. Okay. So what are my environment settings? Let's do like... That. And like a fog color will be... Maybe something like that. Let's see how that looks. I mean, if there weren't so many dang... Oh, it's... Okay, I see what it is. Hang on. Let's go back to my, um... Preview chunks. So... If sc dot has node auto gen preview okay And so I think maybe in the final version of the game, I'll do a filter and drawing on this and stuff. But for the, for now, what I'll do... Let's go to our day-night. Map screenshot. Would be like... That seems okay. Okay. And then we can do, uh, preview chunks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. It didn't do the right thing. I didn't do the right thing. Let's see. Uh, this is my biggest project. Yep. Yeah. And this needs to be auto-gen. So I think that looks good. So let's go to the map. Doesn't quite look right. All right, let's close this. We'll try this again. Um, I don't know. I guess it's just because I've been working as a software developer for a while now. So this project's pretty big, but it's pretty manageable compared to working on a large project that's made by other people. Alright, so let's go to day night. We'll switch this to map screenshot. I guess I could just... Hang on, let's go to my preview thing. So if we're taking a photo, get node day night. Dot play uh, map screen dot 
let's see if this works. So if, if I'm here, and then I run this. Mm-hmm. And there are some tools that I would love to get more familiar with. Wait, did this? I don't think that did anything. What's the output of this? Oh, get node. But yeah, like the things like I, I recently created this new um, to-do list app because I realized this was getting to be a, to the point where I couldn't really follow things easily and I was quickly getting like duplicate stuff. So now I'm doing it better. Let's see. What camera input in menus? Let's see. So yeah, let's do this. The scrolling problem. Actually, let's add the controls tag. So let's do uh, active. Where is the arrow keys? So arrow key movement. Oh, that's already in controls. So yeah, like this new thing that I made. It helps, it sort of functions how I function, which is that I don't really have a hierarchy of things. I have a bunch of things that are related in different ways, like, you know, they have different priorities, they have different um, tags associated, and there's occasionally hierarchy where things are directly related to other things. But most of the time it's things like this control for the scrolling might be related to the controls for or whatever other control things that I have eventually. Like the fact that somebody requested arrow key movement, which could be good, but then I have to rebind switching items. Yeah, let's... Let's keep it like that. Let's also say this is dialogue related. But okay, let's see if this has done anything. Okay, it looks like it's done everything that I wanted it to do, but let's see if the map has actually taken a photo. It has not. So why is that the case? And it does not... Oh, there it goes. So like that, that looks good. What if I just did...
All right, let's try this. Did it work? So what if I just did this? I'm going to delete this. Then let's see if it actually gets saved. It's not working. I mean, I guess I don't actually need it to be... I could just do like resource saver dot save. Does this hang on? Oh, okay. Scaled Agile Framework. Hmm. Alright, so this soft luck prevention stuff will eventually yell. But okay. Does this work? It doesn't seem like it does. Why does it not work? Okay, previewing chunks, taking screenshots. So it should, there should be a screenshot that exists in UI slash map slash map dot PNG. But if I go open this in the file manager. Oh, there is a map dot PNG in here. What the heck is it? Why is it not working then? Is it just black? No, okay. It looks pretty good actually. Look at that beautiful, beautiful anti-aliasing, sort of. What's its MSAA? We need 16x on that. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Um, I guess it's basically... Yeah, the scrolling... I guess the the names that I have are really the best way that I have to describe them. I could ship it, but it just makes the game look bad. Hmm, hmm. Oh yeah, so yeah, like arrow key movement. That's something where I think it's a good idea, but it's something where I could take it or leave it personally. Yeah, so for things that won't ship, it's typically things where I think it's just unacceptable for a paid product or a product that I put out there, and I'd be willing to delay releasing the game or a ver a next version of the game to get it fixed. 
But admittedly, there are a lot of them. So if I go to completed and won't ship, and then we do like maybe fixed. There are some issues with a lot of these where I don't actually, I wasn't able to actually reproduce them. Yeah, so I got all my showstoppers fixed. Yeah, I'm not sure what I would call them otherwise. Oh yeah, blockers. That's a good term. But okay, let's try this again. And then what I'll do for now, I guess, is just have the map. So I guess this works pretty well. And then I'll just flip the map and make it work properly where it is. So if we go here, scrollable map, uh, there we go. And so I guess the, hmm, I'll need to get all of these. These aren't in the right place anymore. Yeah, they're just in the... Was it not 4096? I thought it was 4096 by 4096. Oh no, it wasn't. I just realized because it's a 4K monitor, but 4K doesn't mean 4K, 4K by 4K. It means like 2K by 2K. So I can actually turn this resolution down as well. So yeah, let's make this image smaller so I don't have such a big image to deal with. Well, yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Also, I should have hid the demo area, but that's okay. Let's see. I may add more variation to the color, but I think it'll be generally pretty red. And that'll, this'll very slowly close. I guess I'll actually keep it at 4096 for now, cause that way I can like zoom in and out. Old Village Tree Tower. Scale, actually, let's scale this by like. That's approximately right. But I'll just reposition all of these. Because now this is going to be like the definitive layout for this image. Oh wait, the uh oh, uh oh. If that's scaled, then everything is scaled. Okay, so that's why it didn't do anything. Okay, so let's just let's just not scale it then. I don't know where these are.
These are also like way offset for me. So is that all my map locations so far? I guess that's okay. All right, what's the what's our zoom scale? What's our maximum zoom? New zoom. Let's clamp it to like six. No, now it can be like eight times zoom. And let's do like 0.5. So let's see what this looks like in game. Because this will be probably, it might even be too big. Because like these are like too small now. What I could do is scale all of these by two as soon as it gets done re-importing it. Oh, they're already scaled down. Does the mountain get... I think that's it. Yeah, there's snow on the top. So yeah, now it's so big that it has some resolution issues, or some frame rate issues in here. But I mean, it is just 14096 texture. That should be... I mean, there's plenty of games that have 4096 textures everywhere. But yeah, now it's... Now it's pretty good, actually. Like, you can see pretty much everything. I should make the I should make the terrain look better cuz from a distance it really is obvious that I grabbed a bunch of faces and pulled them up. And I have a good idea for the uh So these should also Canvas item material, Red particle, next pass, resource. Uh, make mode, particles, animation. So what I want here is for them to stay the same size. Let's look that up. Godot sprite same size. Mm-hmm. That could be useful. That was meaning more from the perspective of uh, the actual terrain itself needs some improvements. And it's sort of illustrated, especially by the map. Let's see, how do I... I'll just leave this be for now. The map is up to date, and I have a system, so... 
let's do so fix my visuals so we fix the map oh wait why is this oh okay i have the priority set differently great system at system so yeah let's complete all of those So yeah, now I'll say this is officially could ship. And so Persephone... I mean, technically I won't ship, but it'll be like the final game. Oh, right, okay. She herself is a spoiler, so once this is done... Yeah, because what I need is her animations now. Are these my only... Let's look through my old bugs. So, strain vertical movement. How do I let players scroll? Explain flags, caverns. Let's do that. So this will be tutorial. Could ship it would be a shame, so uh what should it be? Place that sells flags. Yep. Yeah, that's why I have uh, this save it for the end system. So there's a lot of things that I want, but I'll only do them once everything else is done. Like, doing basically all of the character animation. Well, I guess that's a good ship. Where are some things that would be saved for the end? Oh yeah, human characters are one. Where I'd like to have, like, procedurally generated characters. Yeah, most quality of life stuff, I guess I'd actually put higher than that. Because I think, for me at least, saving it for the end is more like for, um... What would it be for? So I think that, so this, is, so this is pretty good. And I guess, well, I guess for now it'll be, it'll be fine to have this little demo circle around here. Because that just tells me where the demo area is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and currently I don't have the ability to just delete tasks, so I wind up accidentally creating things and then uh just figuring out what I wanna what else I wanna do, because there's always more work. So that's no issue. Let's see, I'm gonna call this good for today. Let's see, what else can I do? So I'm going to put this up here. That'll be A-OK. -okay. That'll be A-OK. -okay.
<laughs> yeah, you have a good night. This will be it for me. Yeah, and I'll be back uh, pretty early Sunday, so hopefully that'll be, I think, comfortable like evening or afternoon for you. Because it'll be like 9 a.m. my time. Yeah. See you later.